Good morning, my friends. Today is Monday, April 11th. It's Monday of Holy Week. It's day 84 of Be Formed. Obviously, only six more days until Easter. It's day 41 of our spiritual spring training. And in the Diocese of Joliet, today we have our Chrism Mass. So I'd ask you to pray for us. At 2 p.m., we have a Mass with Bishop Hicks, all of the priests. We renew our um, priestly promises. And it's also when the bishop blesses all of the oils that will be used throughout the diocese uh, for the entire year, the anointing of the sick, uh, the oil of the catechumens, and the chrism oil. What I'd like to talk about today as our fundamental is giving our best to Jesus. So as I look back on my baseball career, um, honestly, there's times when I probably didn't give everything that I could have. Um, and I regret those times that I didn't maybe do the extra work in the batting cage or taking ground balls. Most of the time I did, but there's times where I say, gosh, I, would, I wish I would have. Hopefully we can get to the end of our lives and never say that, I wish I would have. I know that I've given everything to the Lord. So with that in mind, let's look at today's gospel. It's the sec 12th chapter of John. And it starts by saying six days before Passover. So here we are six days before Easter. And uh, so it fits perfectly in the timing of everything. Jesus went to Bethany. And we know who lives in Bethany. It's Lazarus and his sisters, Mary and Martha. Lazarus has already uh, risen from the dead, or, or Jesus has raised him from the dead. That's an important side note that when Jesus, the word of God speaks, things happen. So when he said, Lazarus, rise from the dead, he did. And he was, you know, wrapped up in, in, in bands. That was kind of a sign of being tied up in bondage of sin. And uh, Jesus said, untie him. And so when, Jesus, when Lazarus rose from the dead, he was released and he became free. That's what happens even when we go to confession. So what happens here in Bethany? Mary, uh, who remember the story where Mary is seated and Martha is running around the house doing her, her stuff. Mary, in this part of the gospel, she takes a liter of costly perfumed oil um, and she goes to Jesus' feet. She pours the oil, and this is really expensive oil, um, and then she, she dries uh, his feet with her hair. She gave Jesus the very best. She didn't give him her leftovers, but her very best. That is in contrast to Judas in the story. It says, Judas, one of the disciples who would betray Jesus, said, why was this oil not sold for 300 days wages and given to the poor? That's how valuable this oil was. Um, and it says, he didn't say this because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief and held the money bag and used to steal the contributions. So when we think of time, talent, and treasure, you know, giving Jesus our best, Judas was probably really talented, but because he allowed the evil one in, he started to focus on himself. Mary, also being very talented, she gave everything to Jesus. This should be something that we should pray about today is, am I giving the Lord my best? I remember this story one time, I was talking to a young couple uh, after Mass, and the, the young man put a $20 bill in the collection basket, and she whispered, said, we need that money, you can't give $20 to the church. And he said, you didn't say that last night when we spent $50 on drinks at the bar. And so, where are we giving our time, talent, and treasure? Other people will say, why does the church have all of these, you know, expensive churches and, and art? It's because we give the Lord our best. Um, and we also take care of more poor people than any institution in the world. We take care of more sick people than any institution in the world. But we give the Lord our best. I'm here at, uh, in San Mateo Church uh, in the Diocese of Gallup, New Mexico. Beautiful church that had burned down about 15 years ago and was rebuilt. And this community, you know, it just has this beautiful church in honor of, of God the Father, Jesus the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and San Mateo. At the very end, uh, it says, The crowd of the Jews found Jesus, uh, and they came not only because of him, but also to see Lazarus, who had been raised from the dead. Lazarus was a reminder to them of who Jesus was, and they didn't like it. And they became angry because, you know, Jesus was drawing attention away from the Jewish leaders. And so let that be our prayer today. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. 
Heavenly Father, help us to be generous. You gifted us with the gift of time, many talents, with treasure. Help us to be generous with all of these gifts that you've given us. May all that we say and do be for your honor and glory and not for honoring ourselves. Help us to follow Mary's generous example. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed day. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share this video with one person today, and have a blessed Holy Week.